Hey chickies, welcome back. We are going to be talking all about self-care and pampering. It has been a couple of weeks since I've actually gone through this whole routine and we just really need a little bit of self-care, a little bit of, uh, you know, me time. If you're new here, I'm Christine. Would love if you would please subscribe and be a part of the Chicky crew. Also, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new videos. So today I'm gonna to share with you my whole self-care pamper routine, which almost turned into a disaster. This is a very realistic self-care pamper routine to be very upfront with you. But before we get into that, I wanted to introduce you to today's sponsor, Sweet Z's. I'm pretty sure a lot of you can relate on this level because I I'm definitely all about the aesthetics. When it comes to the bedding, love a nice comforter, pillows, throw pillows, but at the end of the day, when you actually lay down in the bed, you want those sheets to be comfortable. Parting today with Sweet Z's on their organic bamboo sheets, which are organic, they're cooler and softer than those 1,000 thread count Egyptian cotton sheets, and that's definitely something to keep in mind. If you have sensitive skin, these are the sheets you definitely want to check out. Their sheets are even certified to be safe for toddlers and infants. Now the organic bamboo sheet set we went with are in the color white in a size full. It fits our bed perfectly. If you have a deep mattress, this will fit your mattress with ease. This does come with two pillowcases, a bed sheet, as well as a fitted sheet. When you first receive your bamboo sheets, they are packaged in this drawstring bag, which says Sweet Seas 100% Bamboo Viscose. These are in the color silver in a size full. However, they do have other colors for their bed sheets. I believe they are white, silver, taupe, light blue, as well as sand. Now, the really, really great thing about Sweet Seas bamboo sheets are that they use Use less water than cotton sheets which makes them eco-friendly and if you live here like myself in Southern California we are in the middle of a drought so that in itself is a really really great thing to also keep in mind they are actually picked by the sleep foundation as one of the most comfortable sheets to sleep in so when we first received our sheets we threw them in the wash dried them and then of course I put them on the bed, right? The first time my husband and I laid down on these sheets, we both felt the difference of how incredibly soft and silky sheets feel on the skin. Such an upgrade and such a luxurious feeling to just even sleep on these sheets. The first time my husband even laid down in the bed, he even mentioned how soft the bed sheets feel. For him to actually say that really means a lot. That is the thing that really sets apart these Sweet Z's bamboo sheets from the rest of the bed sheets that we have ever slept in because of the way how they feel against the skin. So I guess you could say this would be affordable luxury because compared to other bamboo sheets on the market, these are quite affordable and also their durability. So that's why Sweet Seas offers a lifetime guarantee on their bamboo sheets. We have been absolutely loving these organic bamboo sheets from Sweet Seas and I just don't see myself really going back to regular cotton bed sheets because there is a huge difference in the comfortability and you definitely want to be comfortable when you're sleeping in your bed, right? I'm sure you guys feel me on that. Right, so make sure you check out Sweet Seas. I'm going to link them down below as well as a coupon code where you can receive an additional percentage off your purchase. Thank you again so much to Sweet Seas for sponsoring a portion of today's video. And let's get on to pampering ourselves. Guys, just got out of the shower, bare face, hair up in a towel, and we are just gonna do a little bit of self-care today. It's been a couple weeks since, you know, I've done this routine and it's definitely much needed. Let's move over to the vanity table. We are going to be pampering the face, the nose, the nails, the very dry lips and my skin right now, it has been acting up because number one, it's Tom. And number two is that I just haven't been on top of my skincare game and once that happens, 
this is what happened. First thing we have to do is declog the pores on the nose. These are charcoal nose strips from Daiso. Some of my favorites, it doesn't really matter which one it is from Daiso. I just love their pore strips because I do use a lot of pore filling primers on the nose. So we want to remove all that gunk. And personally, this is something that I just like to do every now and then, maybe every three like two and a half three weeks apply some water to the nose and then apply this deep cleansing nose strip do you guys use nose strips or are you guys against them really get it right in between the little crevice of the nose had on these nails for about three and a half weeks now which is pretty dang good for at home nails i uh, did not have to reapply them at all i didn't have any of my nails popping off we do have a bit of lifting with this nail uh, let's pamper these nails because it's definitely much needed almost forgot we need to pamper the under eyes they also need a bit of love and this is from derma e this is their vitamin c bright eyes hydrogel under eye patches and i absolutely love this stuff sliver of this we're going to be working on the nails and it's going to take some time as close as possible to that under eye area there we go much better so let's pamper these nails we first need to remove the uv gel top coat and the best way to do that is by using a very gritty nail file which mine needs to be replaced but we're gonna basically just start scraping off the top layer trim off some of this nail make sure you don't cut your real nail underneath but it does make the process a lot easier if you have any youtube videos you want to catch up on or any uh netflix shows or any shows you want to catch up on this is the best time to do it now we're going to use some of these aoa studio gel nail removers these are great some cotton balls and you want to make sure that you use 100 percent acetone to really help soak off these nails so that you don't damage your real nail underneath soak this cotton ball in pure acetone clamp it here and then put it right over top squeeze it down and you really want to make sure the cotton ball is saturated with acetone just so that it really covers your nail or what you can also do is put the cotton ball over your nail and then clamp it down so we're gonna let the acetone kind of do its thing 15 minutes starting now and I will be right back been about 15 minutes now we can check the nails to see how they are progressing I also have an orange stick just so that we can see if we need to leave it on a little bit longer and yeah with this no it's pretty much soft and there's our first nail we need to file this down because look at that got all the glue on there so I removed one set of nails and I'm not even gonna lie I was in a hurry to remove them so this is what happened this is exactly what not to do but at the same time it made me realize that I need to also give the nails a breather so instead of applying the fake nails again we need to let them just kind of marinate and regrow build up some strength again yeah my nails right now are telling me christine we need a breather i'm just gonna use this tool which i'll link down below we are going to start with the emery tool we're gonna remove all this gunk from the top of the nail and smooth it out push back the cuticles off the nails and quickly just push back my cuticles 
As much as I love having fake long nails, it's also not the healthiest. It's good to always give them a little breather every now and then. So let's remove some of this cuticle with a nipper. Now that we're finished with the cuticles, let's just file it down with a glass nail file. And I love glass nail files because I find that these are the most gentle on the nail. And this is what's really helped my nails grow in the past. To match the rest of the nail, let's just cut this. File them in one direction. We're just going to buff off the top portion of the nail just so that it's even and flat and there aren't any ridges. While we're waiting for the acetone to soak off the nails, let's go ahead and remove the eye patches and the nose strip. This is seriously so satisfying. Ooh, that's pretty gross. That is pretty gross. all that gunk the only nail that wasn't brittle is a thumb but unfortunately we're just gonna have to file them down our nails are clean filed buffed and they are ready for a coat of paint and also a little strengthener but before we do that we are going to apply a sheet mask this one is from I do care this is their straight chillin cooling aloe sheet mask this is the first time I'm gonna try it out. These instant face chillers are infused with aloe vera leaf, cucumber, and lemon balm extracts to help soothe and cool the skin. I love how it's in a container, like a little wipe container. So it says you leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes, which is perfect for our manicure time. Ooh, smells pretty good. Here's the sheet mask. There we go, perfect. We're also going to apply a lip mask. This is from the brand Gristol Collagen Gold. It's their peach moisturizing lip mask. It's enriched with fragrant peach extract, which is a bonus, deeply moisturizing and nourishing the delicate skin of the lips. Lips are tender and moisturized, so we're also going to give this one a try. But first, we're going to apply to the nails OPI, and it's their nail strengthener. It's definitely a holy grail product that I even used back in the day, and this really helps strengthen the nails and make them not so brittle. LA Colors, it's one of their last up to 10 days nail polish in a really pretty light pink. took off the sheet mask from I do care this was actually very hydrating and moisturizing my skin feels so nice and soft my skin feels like it just got a facial for the little lip mask this felt very tingly on the lips but it does feel nice and moisturized it doesn't feel as dehydrated as it did earlier instead of using the la colors nail polish i realized this one was really thick i tried to thin it out it's just too old i have to toss it I did end up using a nail polish from orally this one is in the shade rose colored glasses and it did take me a couple of coats to achieve the opacity I wanted, but I love the way how it turned out. And we were also able to save these nails because if you remember earlier, this nail basically had skin showing and this one too, but we were able to just go over it with a nail polish so it doesn't look all you know, gross. <laughs> I was actually planning on putting a band-aid over it, but we were able to save it. So I'm very glad that, you know, we took the time to really apply the polish. Since our nails went through so much trauma, 
we are going to give them a nice little soothing treat and we're going to apply a good amount of this aquaphor healing ointment it's for dry cracked or irritated skin but we are also going to apply these wonderful moisturizing gloves from Shop Miss A. And uh, we're just gonna slather a really good amount of this on our hands, apply these gloves, which do have a silicone gel coating. And we're gonna let it just marinate, let this ointment soak into our hands so they are nice and smooth and soft and uh, our hands will feel nice and pampered. That is definitely as real as it gets in terms of a pamper routine. I was expecting to throw on a new set of nails, but these girls just need a little breather. At least we were able to pamper ourselves. My skin feels a lot better. The under eyes, these lips, they no longer look crusty. The nails just needed a bit of TLC especially the hands. I would love to hear your self-care pamper routine. Do you guys give yourself a manicure, a pedicure, facial? I hope you enjoyed this pamper routine, a very realistic pamper self-care routine. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please make sure you give it a like. Subscribe if you have not already. would love for you to be part of the Chicky crew. Thank you, Chicky, so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.